Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 5 of the uh, Premiere tutorial series. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work with speed rate and stretch tool right here and then also look at the speed settings inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to file, save this as my lesson 5, uh, save it and there you go. So uh, we, we left out on this tool right here on our last lesson and because we need to cover up this in detail. So what this actually does is it, uh, is it helps me increase and decrease the length of the, uh, uh, of the video footages. So what I can do is just click on this and if I were to increase this in size, so it actually slows down or speeds up my video. Uh, so uh, I can also do this by right clicking and going on to my speed and duration settings from right here. So what I want to do is usually when I have a slide so like this, I really want to, uh, I really want each and every slide to be the exact same length and it's very hard to do it manually. So what I can actually do is I can right click uh, and select speed and duration and there you go, you can actually say I want this four second exactly. Uh, on the right here, it actually refers to frames. This, this, so this is the second uh, minute and hour. These are the frames. And depending on the video you have, the frame rate might vary. The standard is 24 fil for films, 25 for PAL videos, and 29.97 for NTS, uh, NTSC. So we're going to go over, uh, go over it in uh, further lessons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press OK, and you can see the length automatically adjusts adjust just like that. All right, I can also do this scale to, uh, uh, I can also select multiple clips, right click and go to speed and duration and then change it to uh, four seconds right here and then press OK and you can see that both of the video, uh, both of the uh, clips actually um, um, are four seconds now. But what I want to do is I want to, uh, I want to use this tool with the video because that is where the magic is. So let me just delete this out, go over to the video uh, over here on my videos folder, of course, all right. So once I bring in the morning sky, all right, the morning sky, not really, San Francisco, okay, I'm just going to bring San Francisco, uh, keep sequence settings, all right, so I want the a previous uh, section of the video so let me just uh, change the area of this video just like this and let me use the rate stress tool in this video right here so you can see that the uh, San Francisco is actually panning down just like that all right so if I want to slow this down what I can do is I can use the rate stress tool and once I increase this you can actually see that it actually slows down the video itself instead of just bringing out the other portions of the video. So now if you have, if you don't have a graphic card, this might actually show red and you might have to press enter. And whenever something shows red, you have to press enter in order for a smooth playment, uh, uh, for a smooth playing. So since I, my graphic card is working right now, uh, this actually shows yellow, so I have not, no processing is needed before it can play smoothly. Sometimes the uh, timeline might hang, so you have to press enter. So I can increase this in length just like that, and it actually slows down. But you can see that it is glitchy, so uh, it is suggests that, that you only slow down videos uh, which has a high frame rate. So now I can also change the speed and duration of the uh, clip by right clicking it and going on to the speed duration option. So if I were to go to the speed duration option, the speed is currently 50% and if I do 100% and press OK, uh, this, uh, the video goes back to 100%. In a, in a, if I wanted 50%, which is the recommended uh, percentage for speed duration slowing down. So if I were to do 50% and press OK, you can actually uh, see that it is um, exactly double the speed of what I started with. So if I go to speed and duration, uh, you can see that there's a little checkbox right here, uh, a little link that the speed is related to the duration right here. So if I were to uncheck that and press 100, 
uh, you can see that the length actually does not change and if i were to press okay the length does not change the rest of the the, the length of the video remains the same but the speed actually changes and if there are rest of the clips then it has actually brought back on the timeline over there so if i were to go to speed and duration again uh uncheck this let's keep the speed duration to 10 percent and let's let's the let the duration be uh five seconds all right press zero zero press okay and you can see that i have a 10 percent speed video and uh, i got the exact length that i want and it cuts off the portion uh which actually exceeds the time limit over there so if i turn off the link this is actually what happens so in the speed duration itself you can see that there's reverse speed so let me go back to 100 percent just like that let it be a five second clip so i got my clip right here which is panning from up to down and if i want the video to reverse what i can do is i can go over here go to speed duration reverse speed and press ok and you can see the video actually now starts from end uh, it actually is opposite now and it actually pans up instead of panning down. So if you want to create a reverse effect, then this is actually very helpful. And you can see that the person is actually moving backwards right there. So this is how you use the uh, speed and duration settings. So the interesting part is about the audio uh, regarding this. So if I have an audio right here, okay, let me just go to my soundtracks right here, uh, bring in some music and then cut the music at the end now let's see so if i were to play this let me unmute this you can hear the pitch of the music so if i were to use my speed duration over here and change this into uh 50 percent maybe and press ok you can actually see the change in the pitch of the music itself so Let's make it 25, press OK. So the pitch actually changes with the speed duration, which uh, is a common thing with audios. So if I were to go to speed duration and I check on maintain audio pitch, then it actually maintains the audio pitch and does not change it with the speed that I'm choosing. So you can see that the pitch actually now changes uh, back to normal and does not get affected with the pitch that I choose. So no matter how fast it is, go to speed duration, let's make it 200% and the audio gets faster. But if I were to turn off the maintain audio pitch, then the pitch actually uh, changes as well. So let's just do it. So if you don't want to change the pitch, then uh, uh, there's an option for you right here. And the next thing is ripple edit and sifting uh, trailing clips. So let's see how that works right here. So that, uh, for that, we need multiple layers of videos just like that. So let me just uh, drag that one out over here. Uh, drag this one on to the left. Uh, drag this, okay, scale this to frame size. Scale, scale, scale this to frame size, all right. So drag this onto the right and drag this onto the right. So we, you can see that only the portion that I selected here actually shows up even if I drag it from the project window right here because that is how Premiere works. If so if you want the whole clip again, then I need to go in and uh, set the in and out point again. So what I want to do right here is uh, I have my video editing files just like this. And if I were to change the speed and duration, let me go to... Uh, Speed and duration, let's say um, I want the speed to be at four seconds and then press OK. What happens is that nothing happens because uh, there's no space for it. And if I were to go to speed duration and go to one and zero, what happens is that it decreases this uh, uh, decreases the uh, length of the video, but the, there's a huge chunk of gap right here. So as we uh, look at looked at the last lesson, the ripple delete tool. Okay, where did it go? The ripple edit tool actually lets me ripple edit and uh, make sure that the other clips snap onto the place. So in order to make sure of that, I can go to speed and duration, and then I can turn on ripple edit and sifting trailing tools. And what happens is that when I press one and press OK, it actually sips down back. So if I go to here, speed duration, and if I were to 
put four seconds over here, it actually pushes it forward as well. So it makes it much more easier to change the speed and duration right here. So this is how the Ripple Edit tool works in the speed and duration. So you can see that it is very, very easy to uh, use a rate stretch tool in Premiere. So it uh, helps you change the, uh, change the speed of the video from the timeline itself. So uh, when you actually use the, uh, use the rate stretch tool, it, re it is recommended that you use a video shot with higher frame rate instead of just uh, stretching down the old video. So it is not recommended to uh, stretch, it, stretch it more than 50% 50, 50 because it might seem very laggy if you do that. So this is how you use the rate stretch tool and uh, so we'll cover up the further options of transitions and effects in further lessons. So hope you guys learned something and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.